Hey YouTube, what is up? My name is Sam and today I'm going to show you how to get uh, console commands for your Xbox 360 version of Skyrim. Now, it doesn't work with PS3, um, it might, but I do not have a mod of PS3 so I cannot do it. Now, it is required that you have a JTAG or an RGH, uh, basically a modded Xbox, to actually do all the shit. So, uh, basically, just get a... Uh, Basically, take uh, your your Skyrim ISO, uh, make a backup of it, and when you do, you should get a JTAG uh, kind of rip right here, and uh, download the the mod, the multi utility mod. Uh, I'm gonna put in the description. You should get a file like this. All you gotta do is just uh, take all the shit, drag it over, take open up this Xbox 360 DLC, drag it over to wherever your um, you know wherever your Skyrim uh, folder actually exists. Like, uh, let's say on your HD, you can you know, drag it over there. If it's on your USB, then, you know, just drag it over there. And then, uh, yeah, that's that's basically, you just drag and drop, and then just drag this over to your, um, to your USB, and that's it. So basically, start up Skyrim. I'm in Skyrim. And this is the Xbox 360 version, as you can see. And wait for it to spin. There we go, it spins. Uh, this is the exact same uh, game version I used last time on my Skyrim mods video. Uh, now we're going to load from the hard drive because that's where I placed the um, the actual mod. Uh, now we're going to let it load because, I don't know, it just takes forever to load for some reason. Okay, it's done uh, loading the add-ons. Let's check out the add-ons right now. Uh, as you can see... Multi utility uh, version 6.1. Now uh, let's just continue. All right, guys, I'm just gonna start a new game. Um, I tried loading my previous save, but it just crashed uh, for some reason. Uh, so let's start out with a clean save. Um, all right, let's do it. All right, uh, we're just gonna go for a generic character. <clears throat> if this thing would load. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, there we go. Uh, yeah, sure, that character looks awesome. Uh, we're gonna name him... Um, uh, we're gonna actually, we're gonna name him... He's gonna be called Anus. No, he's gonna be called Jarl Anus. Alright, it's awesome. Alright, cool. Uh, we, we are going to side with uh, the Stormcloaks. Alright, now to test out and see if uh, if it works. Now, here is multi-utility, okay? Uh, it's already equipped. It's a shout. And there we go, multi-utility. Okay, so items. <laughs> you want to add an item? Uh, yeah, sure. And if, if you want to add, add an item, check out the... Um, the included spreadsheets and just enter the uh, enter the the codes and then you should have your item and there you go uh, abilities you know you can add your all your stuff uh, all that stuff yeah we're just done uh, There you go. Uh, you can change the quest stuff as well. You know, if you want to advance a quest, you can always do that. Uh, you can do player stuff, info, and, you know, there's weather, music, all that stuff. Uh, you can also uninstall it, but uh, apparently it doesn't work right now. And uh, there you go, guys. I don't have the, um, the actual Excel sheets on me right now, so I can't really uh, show you uh, me, like, adding an item to my inventory. So uh, try it out for yourself. It works, uh, and this ha this is um, this right here is uh, Yarl Anus, and he approves. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, 